Halo semuanya, MotoGP Mandalika Indonesia kembali bergulir. Sejumlah pembalap pun melakukan konferensi pers, ada Jorge Martin, Banyaya, Edia Bastianini, dan juga Mark Marquez. Jorge Martin mengatakan dirinya akan berusaha lebih fokus pada balapan Mandalika dan balapan mendatang. I won I won the sprint and then I was leading by 3 seconds so maybe it was too too optimistic in the race but I feel you know I can be competitive as as usual so I hope to you know head down it's important to to keep the same level and consistency all the all the weekend so so you know I I, I remember also making some mistakes in qualifying so I will I will try to be more concentrated and and keep as I I did last week Sementara itu, Peko Banyaya mengaku melakukan kesalahan di MotoGP Emil Romanya pekan lalu. Namun, menyebut balapan minggu lalu adalah balapan yang aneh. The crash is something that uh, not the first time is happening. Uh, was my mistake, but uh, as soon you are not pushing that hard on the brakes and your bike is more uh, aligned, uh, it's easier to lose the front. So it's something that we already saw this season. But um, it was a strange, a strange uh, Sunday because I was feeling super good all the weekend, and then in the race I was uh, struggling a lot to to repeat the same pe- the same pace, repeat the same pace I was doing in the in the, pra- in the practice. So, uh, nah, uh, we are already focused on this weekend. Uh, was good last last season, just on Sunday. But uh, we take what, what what we did on Sunday and try to. To be competitive for uh, for uh, the rest of the, of the weekend. Enia Bastian ini menunjukkan kepercayaan dirinya dan mengatakan sirkuit Mandalika adalah sirkuit favoritnya. This track is uh, one of uh, my favorite track. is uh, is very beautiful for me and uh, well, uh, it stayed the the race when I'm back uh, the last year after my my injury and. Uh, Well, uh, I'm confident to be to be fast also in uh, in the track. It's uh, a bit different compared to uh, an uh, Europe track. Sedangkan Mark Marquez memasang target untuk berada di posisi keempat atau kelima di MotoGP Mandalika kali ini. Pasalnya, Mark Marquez belum pernah menang di sirkuit ini. Be interesting to understand where we are here. Uh, it's true that uh, uh, last year, uh, I mean, or. Oh, Last year, no, I, I never finished a race here in Indonesia uh, because uh, also in 2022 I, I had that massive crash in the warm-up. But, uh, but yeah, time to, to understand our level here and uh, yeah, the target will be, uh, be again on that uh, top four, top five position. Okay guys, itu dia hasil konferensi pers MotoGP Mandalika Indonesia. Kira-kira siapa yang bakal menang di sirkuit Mandalika ini? Komentar di bawah ya.